Hello and welcome to this video on inner join using dplyr. Let's say we got two tables, table 1 and table 2. And in both the tables we have patient ID which can be used as the key. Let's see how the inner join table would look like. So in the first record we have patient ID 001. It exists on both the tables. So in the final output we would have this record. So all the data from patient ID 001 is there. Now moving to the second record patient ID 002 also exists on both the tables, table 1 as well as on table 2. So the output would obviously contain the complete record for this patient as well. Now what happens to the patient ID 003? It only exists in table 1 and patient ID 004 only exists in table 2. So they won't be copied in because inner join needs the key to be present in both the tables. Now let's do a inner join using dplyr in RStudio. So using the package dplyr, creating my first data set D1 and D2. So these contains some fictitious data for the patients. And in both the tables, I'm using patient ID. Now here is the first join. The simplest way is to just say inner join D1 and D2. Note that I didn't specify any key because the system is smart enough to pick the key because patient ID exists on both the tables. So the system thinks that this must be the key. But in real life, you won't leave it to chance. You would have to specify your key by giving the by statement. So here's an example of that. So let's run this statement and see what the output looks like. So if you can see that we have two records in there, patient ID 001 and 002, because these are the only ones which exist on both sides of the table. And here's a third way of doing it. I prefer using this one because I'm using the, the pipe symbol in this one and it's much easier to build more complicated statements by using the pipe symbol. So using D1 as the first table and you know, joining with D2 using the patient ID as the key. So the output of this command would also be the same. Now let's complicate the situation a bit further. What if we have two data sets and in one of them the data is being repeated for the same patient? For example, D1 appears to be fine because we have three patients, patient ID 001, 2 and 3. But in the second table, we have patient ID 001 being repeated twice. And that is because we have taken two blood pressure readings for the same patient. So let's run the inner join statement again on these two tables and let's see how the data looks like. We would see that instead of two rows, we have three rows now because the patient ID 002 has two blood pressure readings, so it has appeared twice in that. If this is something what you want, that's fine. But if you want only the unique values, then we will have to perform some transformation to our data. In this case, I'm saying arrange the data by patient ID and minus SPP, that means highest blood pressure reading at the top, grouping it by the patient ID and then only taking the top value. So in this case, I have unique values representing the highest blood pressure readings of these patients. And now if I have to do the join again, instead of using the D2, I would have to say D2.unique because this is our transformed data. So if I run this command now, the output is going to be something like this, which appears to be fine. So we have unique values in there. I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.